Hi there, Psycro Enthusiasts, and welcome to another episode of Friday Psycho Best Practices. My name is Vasily Fomachev, and I'm a Psycho MVP. In this episode, I'd like to briefly touch on Psycho workflows and remind that workflows can also be applied to media items. Uh, recently, uh, the client, one of the clients, came up to me and started uh, uh, a conversation about workflows. Started. Uh, complaining about how limiting Sitecore workflows were and how some of the media items were still getting past their approval process and were getting out there in their delivery environment without going through proper approval channels. Well, after looking at their content tree, uh, it turned out that they didn't have any workflows enabled for their media items. Uh, and of course, that would be a good reason why none of the, in fact, none of the media items were going through their workflow process. So it is important to remember that not only content items under the content tree can have a workflow on them, uh, it is also the media items. Same applies to actually uh, bucketing. I also see that frequently. Um, keep in mind that everything in the content tree in Sidecore here is just another item. So workflows can be applied to pretty much any item here. Let's take a look at a layout right there. Look at that. So workflows, bucketing settings applies to the entire content tree. But um, it is important for uh, clients to be aware of this functionality. So when it comes to discussing workflows with your clients uh, and gathering workflow requirements, make sure to uh, let them know how Sitecore works, how workflows work with a content tree, uh, with regular content items, and also how that applies to media items. Because if for someone who's never used Sitecore before, it's all one, right? One web page, and since they edit that web page, uh, they should be able, any edit to that web page should uh, be able to go through the workflow, right? And that works a little differently in Sitecore. If you edit a media item reference by that item, right? If, if the workflow isn't applied to that media item in the media library, it's not going to go through the workflow. So uh, the, uh, the client, clients need to be trained on how Sitecore works early in the discovery when workflow discussions come up. And they need to be aware of how workflows function and they need to be aware of the separation between content and media, how that works with workflows. Uh, if they don't work, uh, if they don't want workflows in the media library, that's fine. That's great. But as long as they're aware and they're making an educated decision, otherwise, um, if they uh, apply their general understanding of workflows to the Sitecore content tree, um, they'll have just like my other client um, would have a, um, a lot of well, all the all their media items going out to production without going through the proper approval channels because you can simply detach, attach um, new images to existing media items without even modifying the media item or simply adding or removing images right without anyone being notified or, or noticing. And some companies have really rigid legal requirements that um, a simple where, where a simple change to the website even for a media item for instance might take days to go through legal and proper approval channels so that it's very uh, important for clients to be aware of this uh, of how workflows work in Sitecore um, and uh, make an educated decision based on that so uh, keep that in mind uh, be aware of uh, workflows uh, of the fact that workflows can apply to really any item in Sitecore Right, um, and as developers, for instance, you could even apply it to templates. Right, uh, catch those uh, edits to the template items and and uh, have them go through proper development approval channels. I've never seen it done, but it is possible. Right, and also keep in mind that bucketing also applies to um, the media library as well. So hopefully you like this tip, um, and uh, uh, if you did, give me a thumbs up. For uh, more tips like this, check out cmsbestpractices.com, and I'll see you next Friday. Over and out.